This is coming right for us. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it. This thing's about to overtake us. Go, 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 go. Oh, gee, go. Holy crap. Holy crap. Button. Go, 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 go. The National Weather Service has issued tornado watch number 158, effective until 11 p.m. This watch includes the following counties. Butler, Chase, Cowley, Harvey, Marion, McPherson, Reno, Cedric, and Sumner. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, both in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. It's 3.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're just to the north of Wichita in Kansas. Tornado watch has been issued for much of the northeast and eastern parts of Kansas. And we have this storm firing up right now. Very early stages, but time will tell what happens with this. This is firing right off the dry line. We're just gonna position ourselves to be in the right place to track this as we expect it to go northeast at about 35 miles an hour. It's 4.25 p.m. Central Daylight Time. It's still very early days. The cap has not broken. These storms are just firing off the dry line. You can see the updraft just to the top left. But these are being held back. The thinking is when these do go uncapped, they will go nuclear. Uh, at the moment, that's the primary storm target. We've got a few little Cumulus just bubbling, towers bubbling down that line. Very, very evident on radar. It's 4.54 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're just approaching Lee in Kansas, just to the south of Salina, north of Newton. Watching this cell just to our north. No severe warnings in place at the moment, just very early days. The tornado watch is in place, and if the forecast models and the environment does resolve to be correct these storms just ahead of us may be producing a tornado in the next hour or two Hey, how you doing? The southern storms, in case you're wondering what they're looking like, are down there. That's what they look like at the moment. Something's, something's bit into it. It's forming off the back end. Tornado warning. Where? For who? For what? For what? South cell. I told you. I told you. Yep. That is the storm we're watching. To the south. It's going to be behind the rain core. Funnel clouds reported, but really it's early days. But well, I expect that storm to increase and bounce off the dry line. It's in a clean environment, and that's what we're after. It's going to track it well. It's going to be interesting where this thing tracks. I'm almost tempted to stay still, but we we don't know how that's going to track. As the lights are on, 
There's your updraft. Do we even move? Based on its current track speed, we can just sit here. Exit roads, if we need them, we've got Navarre straight to Woodbine. So we've got that as a, a way to get out straight across to our to our east. And we've got a way to get south, way to get north and come around the back. We've got some good options in case it does do something. The question is, is it going to right turn or go straight north? Well, it is the question. Now we can head slightly south to Hope. That's a that's an option. That's the question. Or do we just sit here and wait patiently and not even move? It's early days, people. I think we need to be patient. Very, very early days. So currently in Navarre, if I've got that pronounced correctly, we're looking right across the storm base. If it does anything, we're going to see it from here. That's looking to the storm base at the moment. Main hull core is just there. So switching to camera mode, there's the full width of, of the storm. It's currently 6.19 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're near Navarre in Kansas. Tornado warning has, has been issued for this cell. We're just holding our position for the moment. Bit of rotation through the back. We're actually looking through the back of the, the HAL core, which is just over there at the moment. Updraft base, we can see straight through it at the moment. We really just don't need to move. I think we need to be very, very patient because they're fast moving storms. But there's a tornado warning on the storm as we're intersecting right here. As you hear there, final cloud was reported. I cannot see any tornado or final cloud at this moment. I can see straight through the base. Is this going to produce a tornado? I don't know. It's really just too early at this time to tell. But we're going to keep monitoring and see what happens. Yet yeah, the rotation is going to go very, very close to us. We just we don't really need to move at all. I find a nice little feel to be in the, an open area, but I like being under a, a power line, so at least there's something higher above my antennas. It's only got a lot more rotation. The whole base is rotating. Look at this. There's the base. Topeka has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Dickinson County in central Kansas, northwestern Geary County, west central Riley County in northeastern Kansas, eastern Clay County, until 7.15 p.m. Uh, right there, you're spotting, spotting as well, are you? No, no, I just listened to the radio. Oh, okay. I suggest you wouldn't, I suggest you don't sit here. Huh? No, outside, sit here. no lightning strikes. Oh, that's why I'm inside the car. Yeah, um, best position safe for you safe. Um, Head just head straight east, and I'd, I'd do that. I'd do that right now. That's where we want to watch. Just in there at the moment. Looking at laptop, you see the area of rotation. Just in there. That's what you're looking at. We can dodge it. We're, we're safe where we are. We can see the whole thing from where we are. But we definitely have a, a boundary interaction going on here. But I can see, I can see the whole storm base. As long as we're not in the way of traffic, and watch that carefully. Funnel here. 
6.28 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, got the start of a funnel popping down just at the moment. We're in Navarre, if that's pronounced correctly. Very, very small high base funnel. We're looking just from the north, north, east side of the storm. I put this down as a confirmed funnel. No tornado spot at this time. Spotter network report is being done for NWS, NWS Topeka. Uh, keep this just at the moment as just a tornado warning at the moment, but we do have a bit of a wrap up. Doing a quick final report, spotter network. Six twenty-nine p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're just in Navarre. We have a confirmed funnel, uh, possible ground debris. We're just confirming that now. At this time, can't confirm ground debris. We're going to do a spotter network report for a funnel. Tornado warning is uh, certainly applicable for this storm at this time. South, south, five miles to the southwest. Final cloud at the moment. For at the moment, is anything to confirm ground debris? Nope, confirmed tornado. 6:31 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're about to do a spotter network report to confirm a tornado. Debris is spotted on the southern, uh, south west of my location. Partial condensation, and confirmed tornado on the ground. 6:31. Doing spot a network report first. Miles southwest. Tornado report confirmed south. Topeka spotter network report has been done and you've got ground debris on this one. It's only a partial funnel, fairly weak at the moment. It is, it is hit our location, it's a little while off, so it, it's heading this way. But good view looking to the main core, looking at the bigger updraft base at the moment. That's what look, we're looking at, just to give you a bit of an indication from this side. Break station VK2 FSRD monitoring 439750, uh, confirmed tornado on the ground, a partial. Funnel confirmed ground debris, uh, 50 yards wide at most. A break com station VK2 FSRV confirmed tornado. Uh, we had a partial funnel uh, lasting about uh, four minutes and had uh, ground debris about uh, 50 yards, uh, 30 to 50 yards at most. Take cover now. That's the current radar scan at the moment. It didn't have a lot to it, just a little, little spin up, just there. If you are just there. 
or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Fairly weak at the moment. warning remains in effect until 6.45 p.m. for Central Dickinson County. At 6.33 p.m., a Is confirmed the tornado Where's the top of the funnel at the moment? miles northeast of Carlton, moving north at 35 miles per hour. Expected no one else on amateur radio comms at the moment. Tornado. We're just going to keep a wider view of this just at the moment. Severe weather has been confirmed by it is going to track around this area. There are no structures where we are at the moment. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. So keep damaged watching just in front of you. Windows and vehicles How's the stream everyone? Is that all, st is that all stable? Damage is likely. Locations and active include Adeline and Enterprise. This includes Interstate 70 between mile markers 271 and 275. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Expected main areas we're watching is just going to be just here. ...ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. The area we're watching is just in there. ...windows and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roof. Expected hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. In effect, until Main air rotation, in case you're wondering. Can you see where we are at the moment? And east just here. Kansas. Wrapping up is just here. For your just there, so ahead of us. We're, we're out of the, the out of harm's way. A a it's still got lightning strikes and hail and all sorts of stuff come out the back. But we're just going to keep watching just in front for the moment. A tornado warning remains in effect until 6.45 p.m. for Central Dickinson County. Keep watching that front. Really, really carefully. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. A tornado is on the ground. Tell you what. Strong, strong winds here. Very, very strong winds. Keeping an eye just in this area, just in here. Best not to get out for the moment. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. Well, you want to get your facts right, it's really it's approaching me. It's fairly wide. The moment is fairly wide. Let's not rip the door off. Keep watching this for the moment. This is just here. This is just here. Wide angle lens. Making sure we got the right camera on. We do. Hold on. Hold on.
1635. Just over there. Holy hell. It's right here. It's right here. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. I, I know, I know what I'm approaching. Just, just don't. I know what I'm approaching. Size tornado has been confirmed by train spotters. Yes, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. The I don't know. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Enterprise Let me just spin around. Let me spin around. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Don't fall into the thing. Yep. Yeah, that's front on. Right there. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. It may be trying to form just in front of us here. camera a lot of lightning in this a lot of lightning could touch down just right here if you're not careful That's a good spot though. That's a good spot. Wow! Oh my god. Oh my god. That was RFD people. That was RFD.
trying. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. The National Weather Service in Topeka has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Riley County in northeastern Kansas, northeastern Clay County, southeastern Washington County, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.54 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 5 miles northwest of Lynn to near Palmer to 4 miles northwest of Green, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour. We got this warned really, really, really quickly. It's just a good view from uh, where we were to see it, see the ground debris. Yeah, most people just seen a funnel on this thing. It actually did have ground debris. Sometimes it comes down to positioning. You're approaching a twisting storm. Continuing. Hard to see if that's got ground rotation when looking from the bottom, just on a, a back road at the moment, just tra traipsing just to the south, but looking right up into this funnel. Uh, put it obviously as a confirmed tornado, it has continued, it has broken up a couple of times, but at the moment we believe it's just this storm is just getting its act together very early days ahead. Watch live severestorms.com.au.
30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour with gusts and quarter size hail. My God. My God. The following is a protection damage to vehicles is expected. Expect one your protection rule for an interior roof on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Topeka has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Wiley County in northeastern Kansas, northeastern Clay County, southeastern Washington County, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.54 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 5 miles northwest of Lynn to near Palmer to 4 miles northwest of Green, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour with gusts and quarter size hail. At 6.59 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near West Palmer. That's what it looks like on radar. We're here. We're watching this area. Seven oh seven PM Central Dialog Time. Toronto Chase continues. We're currently on uh, Rain Road, uh, Rain Road in Kansas, just south of Chapman. We have right away, but we slow down for chaser traffic just in case one goes through. Uh, got a confirmed. Tornado warning only. No tornado actually on the ground at the moment, but a warning at the moment. Just heading towards the Chapman area in Kansas. Very, very wide base, very wide meso. Funnels come down from the top, but no full, not a fully condensed tornado at this time. But I'm sure there's areas of ground debris that have spin up randomly because it's just, it's so close. So the warning, even though it's a confirmed tornado warning, we can't see a full condensation, really visible from where we are, but uh, no doubt there are spin-ups within this storm itself. Watch live, severestorms.com.au. sitting at the moment we're, we're in this call get just this thing's just revolving again expected hazards include tornado and baseball size hail this is a radar indicated threat no doubt it's don't, don't go too much further up spotters reported a rotating wall cloud between enterprise and interstate 70. the following impacts are expected Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roof, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Junction City, Chapman, and Moonlight. I have a lot of cars behind me. This is a pressure to sort of just keep going. I don't want to do that right now. What I want to watch is the entire base. If you look at the scanning entire base again, this whole thing could wrap up and do something strange. Let's not be under strange. Again, I don't think as much is going to happen off the left, but the, an RFD, watch this, how cool that could wrap around. It could just go stupid. It could be a new updraft. Two storms are moving together and merging. What's going to actually happen to these things? Shift an updraft base, 
my guess would be cycling. This I sense might die and the wrap up might happen here. Will it take an east track? No, very likely a, a, a bit of a northeast track. But I just want to give it a bit of space rather than go deeper into the core, even though the main air rotation is just to our right. I just want to factor what is happening across the whole base as this new merge is taking place because there's something definitely strange going on with the storm at the moment. Just let's just give it space. We're right next to it. Also, a mesoscale discussion at the moment. This is what it is at 0Z, 7 p.m. Uh, it's 30 minutes ago. Supercell cluster is moving into far north, uh, southeast uh, Nebraska with other potential tornadic supercells ongoing uh, across Washington Ca County, Kansas, where we are. Convection is rapidly increasing along an outflow which has surged eastward and is intercepting the dry line, which is right here. Greater than 200 meters per second squared will support the risk of tornadoes, including stronger tornado with any semi discrete storm. Keep watching very carefully. Um, Enterprise. Enterprise 4 inch how would report it. We'll see how that goes there. Tennessee, uh, a tendency towards upscale growth is expected as convective outflows eventually a synoptic cold front is going to take it over. Let's see what happens to it. That's, that's, that's where we are. We're here. Escape route just to the south. But this this here, I think, is your cold front. Just there. So this is this rotation is just going deeper, deeper into the core. I think it's, um yeah, there is. Ah, that's what we're after. Storms to the south. I want to read the mesoscale discussion for this. Cumulus developments has continued to increase. West Wichita imagery shows weak but steadily increasing reflectivity presentation with this activity. While upper level forcing is not as strong as to the north, there remains a window over the next few hours where storms can mature this evening. So we have SI 200 meters tornadoes as well as very large hull. Okay, uh, this is where we say goodbye to this storm and head south. We're going to cut straight across. We're actually going to leave this storm. Would you believe? We're going to say goodbye to it. I'm going to show you what it looks like to, to the right. We're actually going to say goodbye to it. That's the storm. There's your cold outflow. We're heading south. We're actually going to leave it. Everyone's on it. We're going to leave it. Well, storm. Yes, we're leaving a tornado one storm, would you believe? That's about to be ingested and destroyed. We're clear, we're clear, right, we're going south. You're approaching a twisting storm. We say goodbye to that storm. It's been cut. It's been cut to pieces. 7.17 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The storm to our rear, I believe, is now far less of a threat than what it was before. The cold front has interacted with the storm and what we're doing is going south to the new development which we're looking at just here. Again, that's just firing up. Very early days but in, in a clear atmosphere ahead of what's happening to our north. And so you can have a, a good look. That's, um, that's what we're heading towards. A lot of storm chasers heading towards that first one. us and we're going down to them. I'm going to switch back to front camera, which we already have. And look, look at that cold front. My god, that's mega. That is actually quite spectacular. What do you reckon? As we go around the corner. Holy hell. Oh my god. Wow. Look, yeah, no, tripod time, tripod time. It's too good, it's too good. 
That looks good. Okay, we're tapping with our southern storms. Just nothing really much at all. Look at this. Whoa. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Leading edge. Right there. Got it. Uh, tornado. 7.52 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. We've got a confirmed tornado on the southern flank, just south of Elmo, on the southern edge of this uh, of this storm. It just it's popped up from nowhere. Send this through to Topeka. You'll have a, a visual confirm a visual confirmation. Now I can't see what's above it. Now as far as whether it's a gust front, we do have inflow going into the storm where we are, but whatever this is, it's certainly rotating. And certainly, very clearly, doing something. Could be a gust nade of some kind. What is it? What is it? No, there's, there's a spin up on that. We're doing a spotter network report. That's exactly what it is. Tornado. I, I'm, I, I can see what I'm looking at. Weak, dusty. Uh, uh, seven miles. To the south, south. Southwest. The temperature was 82 degrees, the dew point 38, and the relative humidity was 20%. The wind was west at 13 miles an hour, gusting to 29. The pressure was 29.27 inches and falling. Severe thunder. Very unexpected. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. Very unexpected. Caution. At 35 miles per hour. I'll do a replay on that one very quickly. Seven fifty-seven PM Central Daylight Time. This is still going. It's not really connected to anything. It's just on the southern part of this flank. Obviously, some sort of helicity, some sort of spin up on the leading edge. You're approaching Quite a incredible storm. to watch. Please exercise caution. <laughs> My good? You're good. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, just on the leading edge. Cribble. Get a wide shot of this if we can. Amazed this is not warned. Absolutely amazed. Absolutely amazed. Will be damaged or destroyed. I want to get a shot of this. 
Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of South Central Dickinson County. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. service in Wichita has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Marion County in central Kansas until 8.45 p.m. At 8 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Tampa, or 13 miles southwest of Harrington, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to mobile homes, roofs, and vehicles. It's got a this couple of... tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of northwestern Marion County, including the following location. This is really quite incredible. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's still going after, I don't know how long, a good 12 minutes or so. Had a strong uh, couplet on the southern flank of this storm. That rotation on the southern part, spinning around, had a really defined funnel before. In this case, tornado. They've uh, listed this as a confirmed tornado worn storm just on the southern flank, just that little baby bit down the bottom. Very dusty, and obviously, just a, really quite amazing to watch as the sunset just kicks in. But obviously, there's a, a boundary interaction on this storm as we proceed south. It just obviously scissors us around. But National Weather Service have listed this as a confirmed tornado. We logged a report as well as other emergency management in the area. And uh, we've got an ongoing tornado, albeit weak, but uh, beautiful, just leading on the southern edge. Incredible to watch. p.m. Central Daylight Time. We have a confirmed tornado, very weak, very dusty, just on the leading edge of the storm. It's obviously some sort of boundary interaction, but the colors are absolutely incredible as uh, what I believe is just this boundary interaction on the southern part of the storm. Incredible storm structures we look around. You're but uh, a twisting storm. what can I say? Please some magic really question. does happen in Kansas. This one really is quite photogenic. Hopefully it's not near a township and hopefully whatever it is, it's really weak, but it's ongoing and just scissoring down the storm. Watch live, severestorms.com.au. My God, my God. I'm just gonna get a wide angle shot. You see on that right camera now. The colors. I don't need to move. I just, I don't need to move. You're approaching a twisting storm. Please exercise caution. Just to our right. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on, everyone. Hold on, everybody. Right there. Right there. That thing's coming right for us. We may have to get the hell out of the way really quickly. Exercise caution. We may have to get out of the way. This is...
This is coming right for us. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hold on. Hold on. Holy sh**. This thing's about to overtake us. Go, 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 go. Oh, gee, twisting the storm. Holy crap. Exercise. Holy crap. Go. 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 That was not a good idea. go north back into this main storm again. I haven't actually decided yet. The whole line's lighting up. This is going to overtake the main storm. We are driving into what is a hook. We're going to have to watch this very carefully and just thread between this and the storm. We're going to have to thread between it. 
for that storm to the north is starting to do something crazy. They haven't done as, as confirmed. Give me a second, people. You're approaching a twisting storm. Oh, delayed report. Please exercise caution. Report. Confirmed. Oh, no, no. Eight minutes ago. Let's go. Oh, look at that. We've got, we've got one. We've got this just in front of us. A little spin up just there. Uh, confirmed on eight minutes ago. Uh, seven miles to north. Where I am, look at the laptop. This is where I was. That should be a confirmed tornado. I, I, I'm amazed it's not. This one's just a little baby one, just here. Holy hell. You're approaching a twisting storm. That's no land spout. Exercise caution. We're gonna zip it. Okay, see, we're gonna zip it down this line. We're gonna get south. Rotation's just ahead of us. It's night time, I want to get ahead of these storms. It looks like everything's just going to light up. Um, unfortunately, the jet stream's starting to kick in. I don't want to be in a situation where we're going to get pummeled. Um, I want out, effectively. And that can't happen right now. We've got some fuel half a tank. That's off to the right. Back to main camera. Racing at the moment. That's what we're racing. Let's have a look at this. Laptop. Pull over. Stop. Pull over. Stop. Think. Breathe, everyone. Stop. Think. Breathe. A little spin up to the left. Biggest thing I was worrying about was that. That's what nearly went straight over the top of us. That's producing a tornado. But all these. Look at look at the look at the track. They're now moving a southeast track. And we're going to have areas of rotation here, 
here, that's got confirmed, confirmation. So the entire lineup is just going to be one big tornado storm, the whole lot. Same with that one down there, the whole line's going up. So let's not, a, let's not put ourselves in a position where we're going to put ourselves at risk. The safety exit is just straight to the storm core, we're hail rated. But we might be able to get safely safe south if we can. Um, but, but we are dealing with a racing cell which is going east quick, but it's going southeast. Which means this is going to be a tricky one to chase. Um, and just be very, very aware of what, what we're chasing. That's, that's my thinking. That's my thinking. spin up just in there, just on the leading edge, likely, well, we don't know what that is yet, because he's not going to drive into it, not yet, not at all, could be a tornado, could be anything right now. Time to have time for that. I don't have time to do that. Look at whatever the hell that is. Could be outflow. It looks like every single every single um, storm's gonna do it. Just zippering down the line. It's uh, somewhat terrifying, but at least we'll, we can always go deeper into the core if we need to. I don't know what to call that, it's just some dusty spin up. A 23 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're watching this spin-up uh, coming from the north of uh, Lost Springs, Lincolnville area. Again, no clear tornado spotted. Just as this line is unzippering, we have this gust nados, landspouts, whatever they are, this spin-up of dust. Now, what happened before uh, when we we're up in uh, near Harrington? Oh, Harrington, uh, we had a confirmed tornado come towards us. So these things are indicative of changing to that type of structure. So we need to watch these very, very carefully as we uh, head down the line, but these things are becoming more and more well-defined. I just don't know what they are. Mika has issued a tornado warning for South Central Erie County, Northwestern Morris County until 8.45 p.m. At 8.23 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near White City, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and ping pong ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs windows and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include White City, Dwight and Parkerville. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Topeka has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Geary County, southeastern Riley County in northeastern Kansas, Morris County, southern Wabansee County, northwestern Lyon County, until 9 p.m. 
at 8.23 p.m. Yep. Severe thunderstorms were Look located that. along a line extending from three miles southwest of St. Wrap George up. to four miles south of Harrington, moving east at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour with gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile home. Have a look where I am. And Have a look where I am. There's, there's, a, there's a rotation. The passes include Harrington, Council Grove, Alma, White City, Alta Vista, Dwight, McFarland, Texaco, Wilsey, Parkerville, Storm Core in there. Council, Grove and Not a tornado, this just some gusty spin-up thing on the front. But we're literally riding each, each part of this storm as we go south, and it's somewhat terrifying. A tornado watch remains in effect until 11 p.m. for central, northeastern, and east central Kansas. Making sure we have audio. We do. Okay. The National Air rotation's gone Kansas south. Issued a tornado warning for South Central Erie County, Northwestern Morris County, until 8:45 a.m. or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. But it's not doing what uh, the other storm did. Which is uh, that is producing a tornado. Storm we're in earlier. Storm we're in earlier did that. That you didn't want to be in. Um, and we did race it south. Okay, watch this. Little land spout. Leading edge. Now I'm not in front of it, so I can't really tell. I'm not in front of it, so I can't really tell. If it's got inflow winds, I don't know the storm dynamics of what's causing that. Is it a tornado under a mesocyclone? Um, I don't believe so. I believe it's just a dust front. But it is under an area of rotation and under a very, very weak hook. That's to the left. That's looking to my left. That's the area of rotation to the left. Down south is, well, down south is our storm core. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's at night time, you're just not going to see it. That's what we're heading to. That's what we're heading into. We want to back out, we head back north. Switching radar sites to KICT, so we're actually now taking a new scan using a different radar site. I want to have a good look to see what I'm doing with here. That's what she looks like, and it's a, just a stronger call across the board. And I wish we had, um, based on the tracking of these storms, oh, I wish we had more road options. TBS markers everywhere. <laughs> just. I'm not exactly happy getting in front of these things. It just comes down to, oh, I want to do a quick radar playback. I want to see how far it's going to take to get in front of these. With timing. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes. And a severe thunderstorm was located in the area. Jesus, come on. Come on. to head to the southern storm. See this one coming up here? These two are going to intersect, but what's going to happen here, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough on this little collision. The trick is to kind of, well, this one's kind of going semi-ish north. That still lists as a confirmed tornado, but it's on the southern side, I, I can see it. This is on the cold front. This is isolated by itself. There's your hook. Safety is going to be on this. 
It's going to be a, it's going to be south turning. We need to get ahead of that. I need to get ahead of that. A twisting storm. Please exercise caution. So I'm going to keep it on radar. You know, I don't see anything. It's not tornado warned. Just severe warned. It is just on the leading edge of the gust front. Is the gust front. We are being blown around. Let's throw you back to front camera. We are really being blown around here. My god. My god. Wow. There is a mesoscale discussion. I am going to read it. I want to know what the hell I'm dealing with. It's going to take me a whole minute. Lights are on. Off the road. I want to see what's going on here. Conviction has increased along the advancing cold front east, east, uh, east in Kansas. Conveyors continue to show all unembedded circulations. A few reported tornadoes have occurred along the line in the last hour with a downstream environment favorably uh, sheared at low levels. Some threat for QRCS tornadoes will continue this evening. However, the primary threat will be linear convection. Um, should uh, be damaging winds further south east of Wichita. Two discrete cells continue to east northeastward. One of these cells produced a tornado at Augusta, Kansas, around 820. El Dorado, 847. These discrete storms will pose a risk of greatest tornado. Uh, threat over the next couple of hours with time the cold front will eventually undercut these storms and again damaging winds will become uh, the primary threat uh, with the QRCS tornadoes expectation of deer convection along the cold front to build southwards to some degree the evening was place of strong storms of blah 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 okay got it so yep yeah, so the cube that storm which is tornado wand it's where you feel it pays to they've, they've done the meso analysis for me thank you SPC God bless you all but basically this is expected to be undercut we'll have a good road option straight to the east and then we just look out for specific uh, QLCS embedded circulation of the east you're approaching a twisting storm please exercise caution Low shutter speed as we can right now. Looking off to the left. Shit. It's, I think I can see it. It's just, it's right there. It's 9.27 p.m. Central Daylight Time. We're tracking a confirmed tornado to the east of El Dorado in Kansas. Uh, not fully condensed. You can see it between the lightning flashes. 
uh, the meso, the load, the rotation. There's definitely spin in it. You see the occasional funnel pop down. Not fully condensed, but certainly um, warranted for a confirmed tornado at this time. Getting the hell out of here. I'll show you on radar. These, these storms are all interacting. They're going to collide. My concern is that's going to back build into itself. Don't like it. I want to go south and hopefully it's a paved road. I'm hoping it's a paved road. may not be. We may just have to ride it out. No, it's paved. At the moment it's paved. Look at it. Wow. I'm going to switch shutter speeds. Get, we're going to higher shutter speeds. Look at it. Just flying. Whatever that is. winds here. Unbelievably strong straight line winds. We're going to get hit by the storm here but this is all outflow dominant here. But we're going to make our way across to Augusta and over. So we're actually going to make our way through the storm slowly. So and we're going to head to that location. way in is now, after this goes through, there wasn't a lot of options, there was not a lot of options. A lot of rain and lightning.
degrees in the burner. Very, very active like the storm. Oh, this is nuts. workers a lot of things a lot of things might be going on here nope oh, okay that answers this question probably clear that get your smoke alarms going off here it's kind of creepy some street signs have just been torn sideways This home, ah, oh, that home's been levelled. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Buildings have been flattened. Almost flattened. Oh, my God. 